Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys, it's time to update this budget. Let's talk about what's come in so far. So if you're new around here, hey y'all, how y'all doing? My name's Shakima. I'm a single mom. I have four children, two girls, Alana and Shamika, two boys, Strandon and Jackson. I have a fur dog. Her name is Gracie. I also have a fur grand dog. His name is Acro. Acro lives at our house. Sometimes I think Acro is our dog. Although if Shamika sees this video, he your dog dog. Come, come get your dog. But we're living our best zero base, pay all the things, budget life over here, and all is well. We're living our best life over here doing all of the things. So um, we did our initial budget um, right around August 1st, and today is August the 10th. So we're 10 days into August, and we need to make some updates to our budget. All right, with that being said, um, I'm in the summer months, right? So remember, I am a 10-month uh, employee. I work 10 months out of the year. I do um, August through the first week of June. So the second week of August through the first week of June, it's the 10th. I, we actually start optional work days again on the 15th. I have not been back to work yet. And I'm going to not work that first day, but I will be back the next day. I've got some appointments. So um, I get paid the majority of my income or I get paid all of my income August through May, June and July, which are my July and August budgets. Um, we have summer share money, right? I take out a specific amount of money every single month for my regular paycheck is dumped into an account. That account is split in half. I get one part of that the last week of the last working day in June. And I get another part of that or the second part of that the last working day of July. So that becomes my July and August budget. Now, I also receive child support. And then any type of income from uh, revenue or affiliate links that may come in, that could be a source of income for me. It is not a guarantee of income but it could be a source depending on what I have. I got a couple of things that I'm doing, a couple of affiliate links. Of course, I'm doing my YouTube, so that's always counted as a, a YouTube revenue. And now we are doing uh, Facebook Reels. So if anything comes in, we add it to those uh, categories. Travel reimbursements, usually that is for when I am working. If I have to go to another location from my school of the day, then... Um, they will reimburse me for mileage. Now, if I'm going from my house to my school of the day, say I'm going to school B, right? I have three schools, A, B, and C. If I'm going to school B and that's my school for the day, I do not get mileage. But if I go to school B and then we have a meeting at building F, then I can leave that school of the day, go to building F for the meeting, come back to building B. I'll get mileage to the meeting and back. And then when I leave building B to go home, I do not get mileage, right? So if I'm going to school B, you know, if I'm going to my school for the day, that's my, um, that's what I'm required to do. Nobody gets paid for that. But if I have to, to go any additional place, then of course that is, you know, where reimbursements come in. So over the summer, I don't typically get any reimbursements because I'm work, I'm not working. And then any type of unexpected gifts, blessings, or funds transferred that come in, of course. That is where we deal with those types of funds. So I had a couple things come in since we did the initial budget. The first thing that came in was on the third, and that was child support for 152.16. Then on the fourth, we immediately got another deposit for 216.46. And then um, yesterday, which was the ninth. We got another deposit for 216.46. And so that's, I'm going to add that to the 368.62 and I'll see what that total is. All right. So that's going to give us a grand total of 585. Oh, eight. Right. So 585.08 oh, came in thus far of all of our um uh all that should come in for the month so we still have a little bit left but um we're we're approaching 
the end of our uh, court ordered amount very soon. So those just came in kind of fluke. I don't know. They don't they don't always tell me when it's coming. But of course, I'm just here to be a good steward over what does come uh, or I try to be. So we're going to pop over to the week of the 7th through the 13th and add in some of these um, uh, what went out, right, to make sure that we have everything allocated for. All right, today is Wednesday the 10th, so I'm going to take us to Tuesday and I'm going to scroll down. Okay, tithe and offering, we did 22. I actually did an offering on Sunday because I was at my dad's church. That was $30. Let me just put that in so I don't forget that. Let's slide back this way. I know that seems like a random amount, but that's just what I allocate for that particular. I pay any tithe. That was an offering. I pay tithe to my regular church. So that's where you, why you see more money going to my regular church than to my dad's church because I don't go there all the time. Um, for Jackson, I put in $25 for him savings. And then actually for baby step number three, I put in $150. I didn't have a lot that needed to go out this week. So I just wanted to make sure that I had money in that savings account because we are trying to build up baby step um, number three. So let me pop back over to my main budget sheet to make sure that I have allocated for all of the funds that I needed to allocate for. So um, we have a total income of $2,550.08. And let's see where we have uh, spent money. All right. Oh, I do see something that I forgot to write in. I did go to the bank and I got out money for Mr. Jerome. So I'm going to put that in because it's not there. Uh, Mr. Jerome came on Sunday of this past week, but I pulled his money out of the bank on Friday. So I'm going to go back up to Mr. Jerome. I did take out $110 for that particular um, line item. I did forget to get the cash in the very beginning of the month, but I remembered that I still needed the cash. And so I pulled it out. So uh, 97776 has gone for my mortgage. 14089 went for my water. 7349 for the water. I mean for my utilities is 14089 for the water, 7349, $70 for cell phone, 7499 for internet, Mr. Jerome 110. That's for two grass cuts and he's already been one time. Next on my regular payments, I haven't paid anything. Oh, not true. Roth, I meant um uh, Taekwondo came out and Healthways Gym. So let me go back and put those in. They did come out. Okay, and I'll just put those on this Friday. Healthways Gym, 25. And then for Taekwondo was 169. Those came out last week. Um, I probably will have to start putting uh, some money in here for Jackson because Jackson goes with us to the gym like one day a week just because it's only $5 for him to go and visit with us. And we do like to have him along and he likes to go to the gym. He has his own gym in the garage, but he does like to go with mom and sister. So we, we do allow him to. All right. So let's see. Okay. Anything that says sink and fund, sink and fund that has not been funded yet. Business expense that comes out at the end of the month. And I do have money in the, I do have funds to pay for the Canva and the um, Google meet. Uh, I haven't used Canva a lot this past couple of days, but I do use it. Um, I was in the middle of, of working on something else. So I'm a little bit behind, if you couldn't already tell, in videos. It's just because I had some other things going on that I was trying to finish up. I'm finished with those things. I was speaking at my dad's church, so I was trying to finish up with that. So I am done totally with all of the things that I needed to do before school started. Now I can be back into more of a... Um, editing phase with videos and stuff. So I have a couple new series is coming out, just a few things that I needed to get done, but I am a little bit behind in videos. So y'all just bear with me. Thank you so much for being patient. I try to get these budget updates on Sundays since that starts the new week off and I do appreciate that. Um, 
Uh, monthly groceries, I did spend an extra $25 the last two weeks in groceries. I did not have to spend any extra this week in groceries. I was actually under budget. Praise the Lord. Um, we are going out to eat with a friend of mine tomorrow, which is going to be on Thursday because she's coming in from out of town. She lives a far away. She's coming in for a doctor's appointment. And so um, it will be that she and I will maybe uh, meet up for lunch and the kids. And I told her we would take her out to lunch. Happy to do it. No problem. I am going to get my hair cut um, either tomorrow or Friday because it's just not doing what I like it to do. It's a little bit longer on the top than I like it. Um, I like it to all grow in one one way. And when the girl did it the other day, she just left a little bit more on the top than I like. So I go to the barber and just have the barber cut it all down low. I, I'm going to get a part just like I did before. And it's going to be short, right? I'm just going to let it be short and then it'll all grow in together at the same pace and it'll be perfect. So, you know, I just like to do it short like that every now and then so that it all grows back in nice, healthy. I keep trying to let it grow out, but I get frustrated with it. When it gets to this length or a little bit longer, it's just not my fave. Most people at that stage would do braids, but that synthetic hair uh, breaks my scalp out. And I don't have time to do all these vinegar washes and salt water washes and all this. So I don't have time for that. So I'd rather just keep it short and move on with my life. It works for my schedule. It works when I'm in, at work. I got to get up in the morning. I can quick wash my hair and move on with my life. And so, again, that just works for me. It's what I appreciate. It's what I can do. And I move on. So I am going to go get my hair cut within the next couple of days, but it hasn't happened yet. P.O. Box, all those are sinking funds. Um, I have done $75 in Jackson's for his savings. So, again, his dad sends child support every month. I put a little bit in his account. I would love to put more in there. But Jackson will be with me for the next five years getting his child support. So by the time he leaves, he'll have a nice little bit. What I'm doing now is recouping some of the monies that I've upfront spent and I'm putting that in savings and that helps all of us. Or I'm putting extra groceries or extra gas, whatever can help us out as a family. I haven't done anything with Gracie. I took out $200 for gas. Um, Alana is now paying me one week. She's paying me. She's giving me gas once a week for her going to work because I have to take her to work in the morning and pick her up in the afternoon. So she's giving me one tank of, ca of gas per week to take her to work, which all the other kids have done the same thing when they very first started work. And Alana has been working for two years and I didn't require that because she only worked two, two days. She was working about 11 hours a week. Now she's full time. So because she's full time, she can afford a tank of gas per week. And that's just what she does. She came up with that on her own. I was putting my own gas in and living my best life. But because she said, hey, mom, I'm going to give you gas. That works out perfectly. That takes off at least $50. But I still have to drive myself to and from work. And I got to drive her to and from work. So we just working it out the best way we know how. And that was the way that we decided to do it. Oil change. I have not put anything in that fund uh, yet because it is a sinking fund. But I do have to go. Um, next week to get some um, spark plugs done. So I'm having a service done. So I'll take money out of that sinking fund. I do have money in the sinking fund and I still have one more oil change. They're actually also going to do mine, finish up my inspection. I paid for it last time. My car did not pass because of my tires, but I do have new tires now. And so that should be, we should be good to go on that. Also, I do have now a sinking fund for tires or any type, you know, if you get a uh, you need to plug or get something stuck. I got, I have a sinking fund now for that particular, um, that particular fund. Uh, my license registration, car insurance, I haven't paid any of that yet. That's a sinking fund as well. Moving down so far, the $90 in tithe. I've done $30 to St. Michael. I'm not sure why that didn't show up because I put it in. 150 went to baby step number three. And then my virtual assistant so far, I've only paid her $45 because she hasn't really worked for me too many hours this month. Although she, uh, she did commit to working for me for 10 hours per month. And that's what I can afford to pay. That's what I'm good paying. And she was good with that. So let me figure out why my, um, I think I might've put it in the wrong spot, that $30. So let me 
figure it out. Let me find where it went. Oh yeah, I did put it in the wrong spot. Whoopsie. It should be right here. Sorry. Now that should make my um, sheet should be right now. Okay. Yeah, that makes my tithing offering $60. St. Michael's is at 30. Baby step number three is at 150. I do plan to save a little bit more as I am able to put money in that account. But again, I count the whole month after I do my sinking funds. If there's anything left that will dump into baby step number three, I'm trying to get very aggressive with that baby step because I want to have monies Saved. I want to make sure that the kids and I have everything we need if there would be something would happen. Also, for the virtual assistant, I don't know that I'll have her come anymore this month so far. However, um, she may, she may not. So right now, let me make sure. Okay, so that gives me $298.95 left in this account, which is not a true number. So I've forgotten to put something in. Um, last week, I think I put a hundred dollars in savings and I forgot to write that in. So let me go back. Huh? Let me go back and look at Mark this week of, uh, August the first week and see if I put child support stuff in. Okay. If I put money in for Jackson. X, okay. He got savings money. No, I didn't need any of that. Tithe, we did that. Did I put any for baby step? Nope, I didn't. Okay, so baby step, I put $100 in. I know I did that last week. Okay, so that takes off 100 So I'm still missing some because I don't have $198 in there. So let me go back up and see. So this is where it's really important to make sure that you're writing down all the things, right? Jackson got a haircut, which I didn't put money in for Jackson's haircut, and he did get one. Uh, let's see, what day did Jack get a haircut? Okay. Personal, he got a haircut. That was $30. And let me go back and make sure this is where you need to really start kind of saying, hey, what was I doing with my money? Where did I put money? And this, that's why it's important to write everything down when it happens so that you are well aware of what is going on. Because I still have about $60 maybe. That is unaccounted for a little bit more than $60. Um, hmm. I'll figure it out and then I'll tell you guys on the next budget update, but I'm over by about 80 bucks that I know is not in my all right, you guys, so there it is, budget update for this last week. Right now, I don't foresee any additional spending. I still have to figure out where that $80 went. Um, I know, huh, okay, $50 and I'm going to put it on my sheet since I'm uh, sitting right here. I had to buy, I bought a weed trimmer, trimmer, that was $50. It was $53 actually. And I bought that on Amazon. I had a problem with it and they actually let me send it back and they sent me a new one. So that was $53. I know that was an Amazon purchase that I had to buy the weed trimmer. So let me see if I can't put that one in. No, that goes up here. Um, Amazon. Okay. So it was like $53 and some change. So $54, that was one thing. And I'm going to make myself a note here that says that was for the weed trimmer. Just so I know. And again, I like to make sure that I do everything as I'm doing it. That way I'm not worried about why is money not seeming right. Now the number looks better, right? Okay, so everything looks better on that. It's $53 is what went out. And then did I have to send Shamika a Venmo for some reason? No, I got took care of that. Still a few dollars that I can't um, account for that I got to go back and remember or look where I wrote it down. But, you know, it's very important to make those 
um, courageous decisions. It's very important to zero base your budget. It's very important to make sure that all of your money has a name. If not, for some reason, you're going to do like me and forget. If you don't write it down immediately, you're going to forget. I know two things very sure is that I want to work on my spend. I, mean, I want to work on my savings, which is baby step number three. And I want to make sure that I have all my sinking funds covered. If there's anything that I'm forgetting as far as a sinking fund, I actually got a bill today for my yearly um, pet pest, the yearly pest thing. Uh, it's like $120 a year. Actually, this year it went up. It's $145 now instead of $120. So it went up $25. I got that bill today, but that's not due until September 27th. So I still have another month. I still have like another seven weeks to save for that. And if I don't save it all up, because I think I started saving late, that'll be fine. I'll just pay what I have and I'll pull the rest from um, a paycheck because it'll work out just fine, no problem. So anywho, there it is. We had a couple child supports come in, like right back to back to back. That norm normally never happens, but it did happen this time. And so what we do is we just adjust. We make adjustments to our uh, spending. We put money where it needs to go. Make sure it doesn't matter if I get Jackson, all of Jackson's money in early and it doesn't come in each single week. As long as the money gets in his account, doesn't matter to me. As long as the bills are covered, doesn't matter to me. As long as Taekwondo is paid, you know, his little things. And there's some other stuff that's coming down the line that I've got to get for him. And all the bills are paid. So that's my biggest thing is making sure that the bills get paid. I don't, I don't have to have spending money. I don't have to get my nails done. I don't have to get a haircut. I can live without those types of things. But I want to make sure that all of my bills are paid, that I don't owe anybody, that I have nothing outstanding. Like this one thing that came, I think they sent it to you like a month early so that you prep for it, whatever. My service is not due until um, the 27th of September and I'm not going to pay for it early because I don't want them to come a month early. I want all my whole full year um, service. So I'll pay for it in September. I have the notice. I know it's coming. So it's no problem. So anywho, if you're able to make sure to go in and just make whatever notes and adjustments you need to make on your sheet, try not to let um, putting in transactions go too, too long past the date that you did them because you'll be like me trying to call back. What, what did I buy? What did I do? Let me look back on my account, right? We don't need any of that. Just go ahead and make a note or write it down somewhere. Usually I'll put it in my uh, budget planner and then... Um, I'll go back and update that uh, sheet. But if I'm in the sh if I'm in the streets, you know, at the grocery store, or if I'm you know doing other things and spending money, sometimes I don't have a minute to write it down. So I need to be mindful to go back in and just update my sheet. Try to keep your sheet as updated as possible. It just makes things a little bit easier for you to manage daily or weekly, and then you're not trying to go back and recall because sometimes our memory is just not that good. So there it is, kind of our budget update for the week or the last 10 days of August. And we'll update you guys in the next week what comes in next week. We do pray that um, your budgets are going well, that you haven't missed any beats, that all is, is the way it needs to be for you and your family. If not, have a courageous conversation with yourself or with your partner, whomever has uh, access to your money and say, hey, this is where we are and this is what we need to do. Sometimes... Um, the Lord was showing with me today with another situation. He said, closed mouths don't get fed, right? You got to go in and say, hey, this is where we are. I know that it might not turn out positively, but you'll never know if you don't say anything. So it's always in our best interest to have, you know, to say something. Hey, listen, you know, we a little tight this week. Do you mind um, being mindful or can you not, you know, not spend anything for the next few days? Let us get, let some stuff clear out the bank to make sure that my, my, you know, my accounting is right of the funds that we have. And sometimes you just have to have that conversation that says there's no more spending. There's just no more. Now I make that sound easy because I'm the only person that is attached to my finances, but I don't know. Um, I don't think it would be any different if I had somebody else attached to my finances. That's because you would start those conversations in the beginning, Right. So, hey, listen, this is where we are. Or you start those conversations when you get to, when you're trying to get a good foothold on your finances or your mind gets different about your finances. So you have those conversations and you don't want to have them 
ugly. You don't want to have them to the point where a person feels like they can't never do anything. That's not what we're saying. But what we are saying is this. We're a little tight right now. So I'm going to need you to make some adjustments. I'm going to make some adjustments as well. I need you to make some adjustments as well. I've adjusted over the years just so my kids and I would be in a good position. So I am so satisfied with the way things are going. I'm satisfied with the amount of income that we're bringing in at the moment and always prayerful that the Lord would bless us with different opportunities where there's more money coming in because we're not in the get out of debt stage. We're now in the in the um, building up that three to six months and that's important, right? A lot of people say, hey, Shakima, where are you in three to six months? Not as far along as I wanna be, but that's because things keep coming up. But as things come up, that gives that prompts my mind to make another sinking fund and I just start sinking funds, right? So then when that thing comes up again, I already have some money pre-saved for it and then I'm able, whatever else I have over and above can go into the savings. I'm getting ready to go back into a pay cycle, so that's going to be helpful. Of course, I will be tithing at that time as well because when I get paid, I tithe off of my income. So, hey, listen, I know it's coming. I don't worry about it. We just do what we do. But um, it does allow us some flexibility now to be able to put more into that baby step because everything else is taken care of by my paycheck or my summer share. I just plan it that way. I've planned it that way for years and years and it's working for us. Once we get past this three to six months, then we're going to be into wealth building, which more into baby step number four, which is investments. So we're not there yet. We're not in the wealth building phase yet. But we're working on it. Alana has her wealth building going, but she doesn't have any expenses. I pay her expenses. So that's fine. We want her to do that. I don't um, put any money in her account anymore because she's funneled off of child support and she works full time. Jackson is not that at, at that age where he has a job yet. So mom still puts money for him so that when he leaves, he has um, a decent amount of money to help him in whichever vein, if he wants to use it for school, if he wants to use it to buy a vehicle, if he wants to use it for, you know, an apartment, if that's what he wants, whatever he wants to do, that is a good decision. Then those funds are there for that. Um, if it's a poor decision, then mom may have to make some different decisions for him for that money at that time. But right now, uh, my, my children are very good about, you know, they don't really ask me a lot about spending their money because I just give them whatever they need if if I need it. Alana will, she'll spend her money on things like clothes and stuff like that. And sometimes if I'm just buying for Jack, I'll buy for her, but whatever. We work that out as a family. But anyway, there it is, kind of the budget update over the next couple, uh, from the last few, 10 days, from the last 10 days. And so that's where we are. But there it is. If you have questions, let us know. If you have comments, leave them down below. We do want to thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, hit that little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. We thank y'all so much for stopping by. Prayer, prayers for you that your budgets are going well. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.